All right, well, let's get to the big part of the evening here. I'd like to welcome to stage our hosts again for the evening. That would be Governor Jerry Brown and First Lady Ann Gust Brown. Glad you're all inside the building, warm and dry, and we have a lot to be thankful for, particularly the rain. Yeah. Thinking about the rain, it wasn't too long ago that, about 150 years plus, that Sacramento was flooding, even the capital was flooding. But don't worry, uh, we're, we're secure tonight. And we have this wonderful building that was restored, and it has much of the memories and the beauty of very long ago. So tonight we celebrate uh, Christmas, we celebrate lighting this tree, and we celebrate all the good things that we all do for each other. So it's just very special for me to be here, and I'm glad my dog is not barking anymore because <laughs> then, he would, then he would upstage me. Yeah. <laughs> now, this is Ann, and she uh, has a lot of power in this building. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have a microphone, so I have that. Uh, but it's my pleasure to introduce tonight uh, Kimmy Metcalf. Kimmy, I'm going to say a few words about you first, Kimmy. Uh, she was chosen from 270,000 children to be here tonight to help us light this tree, this really that tree, but we're going to focus on this tree here, and to help hang a special ornament. Kimmy is a third grader at Eagle Canyon Elementary in Chino Hills, and she loves going to school, playing soccer and video games, camping and riding motorcycles with her parents, Craig and Christine. Christine, her mother, is here with us tonight, and her older brother, Reese. Kimmy has faced and overcome many challenges in her young life. She was born prematurely with a hole in her heart, blindness in her right eye, and a diagnosis of total body involvement cerebral palsy. And if that weren't enough, at the age of four, she was diagnosed with a rare form of leukemia. Kimmy says she's been stuck with thousands of needles, and I'm sure she has, but she's learned to ignore them. She focuses instead on ways to help those in need and to help fund a cure for blood cancers. Kimmy is quite a star, I must say. I thought I was a good fundraiser, but this little one has, has me beat, I'm afraid. She raised $75,000 in 10 weeks to fund research for pediatric blood cancer. And she, for doing that, won in 2014 Woman of the Year from the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. And she is indeed quite a woman.